Are you concerned about setting the ground rules for your children to use internet or devices? Google's Family Link app is designed to help you to set ground rules and guide your child experience as they explore online. Parents can use Family Link to do various things. For example, set the screen time limit and your child Android Chrome OS devices. See the location of your children signed in and active Android devices. And if your child is under age of 13 years, this is a great tool for you to use. In order to get started, you can open Google and look for Google Family Link. The first link that you see is families.google.com slash family link. Family link will help you to set their ground rules for the digital devices. There are various features available right now. Open families.google.com. The link will open here. I have already set up the kids devices here. So these are the three kids devices and this is the parent device. Now you can see here family manager and parent. I'm family manager and parent and another parent is here. Parent cannot be managed, but if I click here on the child account, so I can make various changes into this. I can see the account information. I can make changes into account if I want. And I can go here and see the websites and Chrome. So I can allow all the websites, try to block the explicit sites and only allow approved sites. So this will help your child to have only the approved sites opened. And this will help you to block the inappropriate content depending upon the age you can set this and here you can then choose the filters on google search so you can add various filters on google search if you want to have and then more information is here so you can uh, enable the photo sharing or disable the photo sharing see your child location so i can enable this so it will turn on the child location link and then family link app activity you can see that also screen time limit it is enabled by default so you can disable it as well here you can see controls on google play child wants to download any app so they will need to have your permission to download the app similarly movies so what are the movies that can be downloaded and what are the apps and games rated for 12 plus because this child is not 12 plus so i'll be rating for 3 plus so it will be most restrictive so now you can see it is allowed for three plus only. So this way you can control their Android devices. You can change the password of your child. It will help you to have a better control when the child is signing on in any other device. So you will need to approve their sign in. Other than managing your children activity on your devices, what else you can do? You can even have Google family calendar also here. So which the family members can use Google keep to use the family keep here family link family link on android or ios i'll show you that also on my ios device or android device google assistant also you can use the google assistant commonly for your home so this is how you can use google family to have the centralized control for your children under the age of 13 so only six members of the family can use including the parents i'll take you through the app and i'll show you how the app works open the play store and go for the family link make sure that it is by google llc install the app now it's installing just open the app and now you can see it gives you the information just scroll through it and understand it what how it works and tap on get started i already have logged in with my existing account so if i tap in here you can see the family members over here if there is any approval request i'll be able to see in the approval request section parent access code or notification setting. If I tap on family group, you can see here all the family members which are available. I cannot of course manage anything related to the parent account, but I can manage the children account from here. If I tap into this, I can set up their device. I can manage the settings of their account. The child is downloading any app, they will require the approval. So I have set it to approve for the all content apps and games which will be rated for three plus years movies most restrictive i will be choosing g here now if i go here to youtube so i'll be choosing younger for age five to eight years so search is on and i have set the restrictions to make sure that child doesn't do any inappropriate search and this is all that you can set depending upon what you want your child to have google photos photo sharing is disabled by default so photo sharing will not be enabled google search so you can restrict the google search from here control for signing in i have restricted the control so parent will have the access code then only your child will 
be able to log into any other device. So here is the parent privileges. In case you want to give access to any other parent, you can do it from here. Family link is not only available on uh, Android devices, but in case your child is using any other device where Google account is being used, so you can see that as well. Suppose if I show you this child, his activities on uh, Windows, so you can see last uh, sign in was today. And of course, you can use Microsoft Family Safety also for this purpose. For the sake of tutorial, I'll be creating the new child account. So these are the family members. I can simply tap here and delete family group in case if I want to, or I can tap here and create a new Gmail account. Child doesn't have a new Gmail account. You can create it if there is already a child email account. So you can tap on yes to link existing one, but I'll be creating a new one. Create the child account. So it will take around approximate 10 minutes. Enter the date of birth. And here you have to enter your parent email. Here is agree the Google account terms and conditions. Now it has started creating the account and now I tap next. And here I need to set up the device now. I'll be setting up the new phone here and set up as a new device connected to Wi-Fi. Now it's connecting. Here you need to provide the email ID for your child. Now here you can see choose parent. So I'll be choosing the parent account here. And here I need to enter the parent password. Device is now set up. Okay, now I'm here on my child device. Here suppose I want to uh, look for any app, suppose Facebook. You can see here Facebook installation is disabled. It means that by parental control, it is not allowed to install the app. Now suppose if I want to install any app which is not disabled by parent. So you can see here for example WhatsApp. Now WhatsApp installation is possible where the message appears here that parent has to say it's okay for you to have this item. Suppose if I'm sending a message so child has sent a request. Now you can see that on my another device screen it has appeared that parental approval in case I want to approve or deny I can do it from there. So here on my first device, I'll type OK. And on the other device, suppose if I deny the access, so I'll tap on deny. And it says denied. Tap OK. Child is not going to add any other user also here. So add an account, Google. And you will see here that you will need parents help before you can sign in. If I tap next, again, parent permission. Parent can only configure the new accounts into the device. The child account, I can see settings. I can set up the screen time from here. Bedtime. Bedtime is 9 p.m. to 7 a.m. During this time, child will not be able to access the device. Right now, the device is unlocked. If I lock the device now, so device will be locked. I'll unlock the device now and device is unlocked. Mobile device management is possible from here. And if you go here, play sound, so it will play the sound. On kids device right now you can see here these are all the options that are enabled here in the mobile device management from here you can have the better control on your child access to the Android devices this was all about Google family link please don't forget to give your feedback in the comment section below subscribe to the channel press the bell icon to get the notification immediately see you in next video take care and goodbye